Ladies and gentlemen, this and all contests tonight are promoted by Ben Shalom and Boxer and brought to you live worldwide on Sky Sports and NBC's Peacock. This contest is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Our referee in charge when the bell rings, Bob Williams. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. We're in the red trunks with white and blue trim. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 12 stone, 11 pounds. He holds a professional record of 12 victories versus two defeats with nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Zagreb, Croatia, introducing her boy. record of 20 victories versus just one defeat with 13 of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Lewisham, London, England. Introducing the former British, Commonwealth, and European light heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. So they're scheduled for eight in the light heavyweight division. Dan Aziz in the red with the blue waistband. Avoyasep in the red and white. Andy Scott said earlier on that these two won't have to look for each other. And we're seeing that already. Sep likes it up close. He keeps that quite tight guard. Does expose the body a little bit, but looks to try and get on top of you and make you work, employ a bit of lateral movement. Aziz has got to start quick, get on top of him and stay there. Good use of the jab early on from Aziz. You need that against a fighter like Sepp, who just coils off to his left. And throws that left to the body, then the right up top. Good action already. You had a decent body shot from Sepp. into the pit of the stomach there from Aziz. And he was boxing for Croatia, Sepp. He was on the same team as Filip Hergovic. They travelled the world together. Hergovic on the end of a terrific performance from Daniel Dubois a couple of weeks ago. Plenty of intent from these two. There's Aziz with that jab, which travels further than opponents might think. I think Aziz can keep Sepp going backwards, back him up and keep him going backwards, keep him off balance. That's what he should be trying to do. I think Sepp needs to be coming forward really to be effective. Sepp just looked to try and lean on, breaks free, hands that right hand, not with too much force, then stepped off to the side. That's exactly where he will want it. Aziz likes it up at that kind of range too, but as you said, he is capable of keeping it a little bit longer. And would be well advised, I think, to do so. Final stages of round one.
So the bell goes at the end of round one. These two fighting out in the open air of Selhurst Park as he's with Buddy McGirt in the corner. When he gets inside, keep it. into the second round here of a scheduled eight between Seth and Aziz. That was clever from Aziz, he just held and then found room with the right hand to the body. there from Sepp, just setting his feet and letting that right hand go. And again, just catching Aziz where he wants him there, Matt. Climbed into the left hook, followed it with the right hand. Yeah, a little bit too static when he's standing in distance, Aziz there. If you're, if you're going to stand in rage, then he needs to be busy, he needs to get that jab going and try and back Sepp up behind that jab. Sometimes just, just staying there a little bit too long in punching distance and Zeb. Uh, uh, Teeing him off, teeing up on him, just lining him up and banging that right hand, left hook in. Again, getting caught with that right hand, left hook, right hand combination. No head movement from Aziz. Again, getting caught with that right hand. He's thrown it five or six times in this round so far, Sep. The confidence is there. Right hand comes back from Aziz. Sep manages to just pull his feet back a touch, lean back and avoid that one. Yeah, again, Aziz, in terms of head movement, too static, he's got to move that head. And again now he looks to lead off with that left hook, followed by the right hand. He's not looking to jab here, Seth, he needs to get close enough to land that left-right in the manner that he's doing. And he said it in the first round, I think Buddy McGirt said it in between rounds. Aziz can use that jab and keep this more on the outside. Yeah, but, but I think he's got to keep coming forward as well behind the jab. He's got to back Sepp up. Sepp is ineffective when he's backed up. He, he needs to be coming forward to, to get his shots off. When he's, he's not, you know, going backwards, he's not, not the same fighter. When he's coming forward and he can plant his feet, he's effective, but when he's going backwards, he's nowhere near the same fighter. So Aziz. Got to be busy, keep his head moving, use the feints and try and keep back in step up behind the jab. Closing stages of round two. Wasn't a huge amount to pick between them in the first round. This has been a set round, you would say. It's turned into a really good watch this already. Magut just telling Aziz as well to work to the body because the body is largely available against Sepp. There are gaps there. And this is going to be hard work. I think they knew that when they discovered who their opponent would be. This is not the kind of fighter you can look to try and take out with a, a single shot. Not that Aziz has ever really done that in his career. He books in for a, for a long night more often than not. No, but then when he pushes it back there, He's getting, then he's got to take that step forward as well. You know, he'll 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 back step up by doing that just by his presence, his pressure. He'll push him back. When he lands the shots and step steps back. He's got to step on him, keep that pressure on him. You know, and, and that's good upper body movement there, coming underneath the shots, making him miss. Just leaning forehead to forehead there. A little bit of a tussle to see who was the stronger. Good right hand from Aziz. As they bend his knees, get low, come underneath him. You're, he'll be in a stronger position then to push against him. There you go. 
as he's just digging to the body. Septo Lanza, good left to the body, then the uppercut. But you see when he's coming forward there, Zeppi, you know, he's strong, he's able to put his shots together, he's in a nice rhythm there, his shots are flowing, he's working the body shots good too. Oh, a big right hand from Sepp. Again, Dan just a bit too open down that left side. Left hand got through there from Sepp. Left hand from Aziz. And it's a hard fight, this, in the third round, deep into the final minute, this schedule for eight. That's good. As soon as he finishes the body shots, finish the combination and the jab. Bell goes at the end of the third round. Johnny Nelson has joined us down at ringside. Into the fourth round, and this has been a good fight, a good watch. It's been a hard, fast-paced first three rounds. Both guys kind of fighting for that centre of the ring position. Zep, uh, sorry, Dan trying to push Seth back, but Seth not really wanting to go back. Left hand from Aziz was bang on the belt line there. Seth again just dipping off to the left, looking for that left hook, right hand. Just gesturing to referee Bob Williams that he feels like Aziz has caught him a little bit low a couple of times. Good left to the body there from Sepp. Yeah, land a couple of decent good body shots, Sepp. <laughs> Heading up towards the midway point of round four, a right hand landed there from Sepp again, and he could head into the second half of the fight here, is he's needing to play catch up a little bit because I think at halfway, if it keeps going like this, long way to go in this fourth round, but Sepp is probably going to be ahead. Yeah, he's, he's landing some probably the better shots, Sepp. Yeah, Sepp shot again. Into the body again there, decent jab there from Aziz. Yeah, Aziz landed some good shots, but his defences are letting him down a little bit. Getting caught with too many right hands in the body shots, that particularly the left hook to the body, working really well for Sepp. Into the final minute, Buddy McGurk just imploring Aziz all the time, just keep coming forward, a constant stream of advice from the trainer. Just towards the end of the round there, for the first time, Sepp just took his feet out, looked to step off a bit, and maybe by a little bit of time, work rate-wise, Aziz should be the superior in terms of stamina. When you look at what, the level they've been at, at the age of the two, maybe. Yeah, we've got a fat, hot pace. Right hand there gets through from Sepp, Aziz trying to get on top of him. Into the second half of the fight here, through four. Could be two apiece. Could have Sepp just maybe ahead. As easy you feel, has got to try and keep this work rate as high as he can. Yeah, he's got to keep this pace up and he's got to keep Sepp backing up. 
but he's got more head movement as well. He's still a bit too static. You know, he's got the left hand low. The right hands are getting through, catching him down the left side. So, you know, he needs a bit more head movement than Aziz. That's how you've got it at home, 3-1 to Sepp. Aziz with the first round and Sepp everything since. I thought that fourth was pretty tight, but I wouldn't argue too strenuously with that. He needs to make the second half his, Aziz. I think that was maybe always the plan. Yeah, he's got to keep this pace going, got to keep this work rate up, you know, and again, he's got to tighten up, particularly down the left side, getting caught with those right hands too, too often. And he's just giving himself a bit more room at times here, except that he has done previously, and then looking to step in with that left-right. But again, you know, it's Sepp that's backing up here, that wants to try and get a breather, so this is good, good uh, signs for Aziz, that he doesn't like the pace, so he's got to keep this on him now, keep the pressure up. Keep working the body shots when they come together. And then when the exchanges finish, finish on the jab. Still just working that left particularly set. Every time he throws it, that right hand comes through as well into the final minute of the fifth. Yeah, I think the two shots for Sepp with a straight right hand and the left hook to the body. They're working well for him. But it's a decent pressure from Aziz. But again, just getting caught too often. Right hand from Aziz off the back of a left from Sepp. A combination there from Aziz, but again, there's not very much in this fifth round. Just taking a big breath as he heads back to the corner there as he's doing the same thing though. I'm good, I can hear But you're not going to work through. Round six. You know, as soon as he finishes, then he's going to step on him again. Again, it's that one-two there, just slung through by Sepp, who keeps those gloves low and tries to use the reflexes there to stay out of the trouble. Caught the left hook on the glove there, Aziz, but he had set back up to the ropes and again did just step off him slightly. He's got to put his foot to the floor here. That's better now from Aziz. This is what he needs, keeping the pressure on him, working the body, and then when, as soon as Seth backs up, step on him again, keep that pressure on him. Good left hook on the inside, shortened it up. That's better from Aziz. Seth just dipping low at the waist there, did well. Made himself a difficult target to hit because he was in range. Right hand into the body there from Sepp, as Aziz just hesitated, really. Sepp just letting his hands go, the final punch of that four, five punch combination got through. into the final minute of round six and again McGurt just telling Aziz you have got to keep working. Because Sepp is not going anywhere here. I 
decent combination again there from Sam. Yeah, he's probably landed the, the better shots, the cleaner shots, certainly the shots that are more eye-catching that the judges are going to remember in a close round. Boy could be slipping away from his ease. Closing stages of round six. Two to go after this. And probably another set round. Well, you heard it. And McGirt is absolutely right. He must win these final two rounds. It might not be enough, but he absolutely has to win these final two rounds. Because Seth, as we said on the ring walk, He's got credentials, he knows what he's doing in there. He's boxed at a high, high level. When he went deep into amateur tournaments, he was losing to the likes of Julio La Cruz, Joe Ward, top level fighters. It hasn't really happened for him as a pro, but the ability is there. 57-57 on your scorecard at home. Both rounds five and six going to Aziz, but they were tight, the pair of them. Yeah, very tight, so. I my buddy McGurk right, I think you need, he needs both these rounds of these. And like I say, he doesn't have to load up, just, be, just got to be busy, just let it, both his hands go. That's better, nice short little uppercut on the inside. And then just rolled away off the back of it too. It's just keeping those hands moving on the inside here, which is different to how he's approached this up until this point, just a constant punching, the perpetual motion. Seth Rowe just sets his feet. The slightest glimmer of an opportunity to throw that left hook, right hand, and he takes it. Combination from Seth as he's just moving backwards. Good combination from Aziz just before that as well. Oh, lovely. And go. And he's just looking for volume here, Aziz, isn't he, Matt? He's having one of these nights where it just hasn't really happened for him. He's not found any kind of rhythm. He's having to force this, but in certain situations, that's what you have to do. Yeah, they look all, he's, you know, it's not really happened for him tonight. It hasn't been one of his better performances, but he's just got to dig down here now, bite down on that gum shield and try and grind out these last two rounds at work, push him back, keep him off balance, and just keep those hands going. That's good work to the body there from Aziz. Set back up to the ropes, manages to step off to his left. Final 30 seconds of round seven. <laughs> left hand got through from Sepp off the back of some good work from Aziz. A decent left hook from Sepp. But as he's working right up until the bell here, as he needs to do, right hand lands. Yeah, good right hand there from uh, Dan Aziz. Straight away, the jab's working, two hard jabs there, snapping the head back, and then step on him again. It's a good start from Aziz, good, good jab again. And when he gets to this kind of range on the inside, Seth is just a little bit quicker to get off. He has been all night, and that has been the problem for Aziz, really. Yeah, when he lands the hard jab, he snaps his head back and he backs up a little bit. That's when he's got to go with another hard jab and then sit down and throw the body shots. He's just staying there in punching distance a little bit too long, waiting and getting caught with the shots from Seth. Both hands, both hands, both hands. 
We're going to miss with that left hand from Seth. He will know that this could all be in the balance here, that he desperately needs this win in the context of his career. As he's trying to work to the body. Does that left hand from Seth just curling in round the back of the guard as he's trying to keep that tempo high. Heading into the final minute, and I tell you what, man, this has been a good watch right from the very start. Yeah, Bogum tired now, good left hook there from Aziz, body and head. Now back up with the jab, he's just got to keep his hands going, keep the body moving, keep rolling and with the shot, punching off the head movement, and just stay busy and try and keep. Seb going backwards, good jab again there from Aziz, that's what he's got to do, just keep both hands going here. And if he gets this Aziz, then it will have been one of those nights where you really had to grind it out. He's not the kind of fighter to take anybody lightly, but when you come into a fight off the back of a huge occasion like the one he had against Buatsi, and you're only on the card, stadium or not, sometimes that level, that edge just isn't quite there, and that can make things difficult. You can end up making things difficult for yourself. Yeah, he just got caught with two big left hooks there, Aziz. I mean, he's busy, again, another left hook from South lands well. Another tough round to score. There have been plenty of those. The bell goes at the end of the eighth and final round, and it breaks between the two. Set raises that right glove as Aziz done enough to get over the line there. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight full rounds, we go to referee Bob Williams for the official decision. He sees the contest 76 to 76. This fight has been ruled a draw. Well, Bob Williams finds it 76-76 a draw. I don't really have any argument with that, Matt. There were difficult rounds to score in there. He gave as good as he got set all the way through. I think that's fair. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It, that's probably the right call. Very difficult to pick a loser out of that. Sky Sports. Feel it all.